I feel like I've watched every good sitcom that there is because at the moment having just finished binge watching one day at a time I'm struggling to find another sitcom to really get my teeth sunk into. I decided to give Pretty Smart a go because it looks like my kind of thing and I'm not entirely disappointed. I will say that I'm just discussing the first episode here but I have watched I think five out of the 10 episodes of the first season. There's only um, one season that was released this year and I'm not entirely disappointed. There is something that I wasn't best pleased with, I will discuss that, but guess what? Claire's Sister is Coming, which is the first episode, is a pretty good introduction. This episode was directed by Pamela Fryman and stars Emily Osmond as Chelsea, who is Claire's sister, Claire played by Olivia Macklin. Claire lives in California with her three flatmates, uh, Grant, played by Greg Tolkien, uh, Solana, played by Cynthia Carmona, and Jaden, Michael Sue Rosen. I thought Jaden was going to annoy me because he plays your very stereotypical influencer, but actually he's quite lovable. Grant, we can tell immediately, is our potential love interest, and Solana is an interesting one. Even five episodes in, I'm not sure about her because she was a lawyer, gave it up to become a, an energy healer, you know, crystals, massages, that kind of thing. Even five episodes in, I don't know what to think about her. But in this first episode, really unsure about who she is and what to expect. Claire is very high energy and hyperactive. She loves life, very talkative. Chelsea is the opposite. Now the reason Chelsea comes to stay with her is because her boyfriend has got a new job out in California. She's gone on a few days early and is is planning to just spend some time with her sister and just by default her sister's roommates. But unfortunately not everything goes to plan. In this first episode though it's mostly about getting to know the characters. Nothing particularly interesting happens in terms of the narrative across these 20 25 minutes. We can see the strong contrast between Chelsea as an intellectual and Claire as a, shall I say, student of life. I, I can hear you rolling your eyes at me, but that's very much kind of the contrast between these two sisters. Different walks of life despite the same upbringing. It's mostly just about getting to know the other characters, Grant, Solana and Jaden, and the role they play in Claire's life and the role that they will ultimately play in Chelsea's life. We can kind of see in this first episode that each character will teach each character something. While we feel like Claire would be able to learn a lot from Chelsea, the intellectual, Chelsea is actually learning a lot about what life really means from Claire and maybe thinking that she needs to change her attitudes about certain things. That's definitely more so the case as the episodes progress, but I will say that this is obviously unrelated to this first episode. But I do think that as the episodes go on, Chelsea lets her guard down much more quickly than I would have expected. She kind of loses a lot of who she is really quickly. Some people may like that. Some people like very quick character development. I I think it was a bit too quick. But then there are only 10 episodes. If this had been commissioned for a 22 episode season, would be a different story, I expect. But it, it's good. It's a good first episode. It's a really interesting introduction to the characters we get to know all of the basics that we need to know to understand the fundamentals of these personalities and what their own walks of life are without being given too much information as i said there's no real beginning middle end to this it is very much just the characters and us getting to know them um, until towards the end of the episode of course it was enough to make me keep watching the first five episodes and i will finish it After the five episodes, because I feel like Chelsea is too different, too quickly, I'm not really wanting to watch the other five episodes immediately because I feel like I need some time for the character to develop in my mind at a more pleasing rate. She's changed too quickly. But I'm also curious to see how this season concludes. It's pretty good. If you're looking for a new sitcom to watch, Pretty Smart is pretty good. It's not one that I've fallen in love with completely, like I can do with a sitcom. But I've enjoyed the five episodes. This first episode definitely hooked me in. It's on Netflix. 
it's definitely one I'd say is worth at least giving a chance.